Hey there, Super Tracks and Snow Tracks fans. Uh, Luke here. Wanted to give you guys just a, a quick look uh, at a new product from FXR. Their new uh, Elevation Pro boots. Um, on your right in the high vis color is my um, Elevation Light Boa Focus boot that I've been wearing now for two full seasons and uh, is every bit as good as it was when I first got it. Um, this boot I like a lot because it's small. Uh, some of the other, other FXR BOA boots uh, have a pretty large um, toe area. Um, this one is very small and, and fits into a foot stirrup of a sled really, really well. Uh, the boot itself is super duper lightweight, which I like. Um, but the most important aspect of this boot is the dual BOA system. It allows you to tighten up the top of the boot and the toe portion of the boot independently using these two BOAs here. Um, the other thing I like about this boot is that it's very sturdy. It has excellent ankle support, especially when you crank down on the top portion of the boot. Uh, you get really good ankle support, which is important when you're riding hard, riding in the mountains, hitting jumps, whatever. So this boot here, it's lasted me two years. There's nothing wrong with these. I would happily wear them for a third season. And in fact, I probably will uh, from time to time. But uh, FXR released a new version of this boot. Uh, an updated version, I guess they still sell this one, but they've got a new updated version, and it is the Elevation the Elevation Light Pro Dual Zone BOA. It's quite a mouthful for a name. Essentially, it's the same basic design as the regular Elevation Light from last season and the season before. Uh, it just is, it's a little different in how the cut of the materials are laid out uh, and the, the height of the actual tongue and heel portion of the boot. Uh, I really like having a boot that's tall. And one of the reasons I like it is because I wear knee braces. And this portion of the boot up here, when I clamp down on it, stops my knee brace from sliding down my leg. It almost acts like a knee brace support. Now, maybe you don't wear knee braces. Maybe that's not important to you, but it's something to think about. The other reason I like a tall boot is for extra ankle support. I mean, it can't be overstated how important ankle support is. And this extra tongue here gives you a lot of it. The rear portion of the boot that's been extended is not firm. It is not hard like the lower portion of the boot. It doesn't provide support. So that's good because if you want to walk forward, uh, the back of your foot, this can flex. So it's not going to stop you as you move your foot forward. Um, this part of the boot, the tongue, is very stiff. And it stops the forward motion of your, your foot bending forward. Or your ankle, rather. Uh, and gives you extra, extra support that way. And as I said before, um, this system works great because of the dual boas. So when I crank down on this boa, I'm tightening the top of the boot. And what that allows me to do is tune how the boot fits my foot for however I'm riding. This boa here tightens down this section of your foot, the top of your, the top of your foot. So what I like to do when I put on my boots, and everybody differs in this area, is I crank down on the top of my foot really tight. I crank this boa down super, super, super tight so that my foot is locked in. And it's not going to slide around. It, it pushes my heel right back into the heel cup. My foot is tight in there, and I know that, and I'm confident in it. This I adjust depending on how I'm riding. If I'm riding in the mountains or if I'm going to be out ditch banging or hitting jumps or whatever, uh, riding snow bikes, I tighten this down pretty tight so that my foot is supported, my ankle is supported, and there's not a lot of flex in there, and I feel safe that way. When I'm riding on the trail or if I'm going to be walking around a lot or just more casual sort of riding style, uh, I loosen this off quite a bit so that I can flex my foot and I can walk better. Uh, and it's more comfortable that way and it's less intrusive. So the dual BOA system, especially with this tall tongue, is, is really important and it works fantastic. These are the new generation BOAs. Uh, I've had no problems with mine. Uh, this boot here has a very similar BOA and I've run these for, as I said, two years, but previous to that I had other versions that had BOAs and I've never had a single problem. AJ's only ever had one BOA break on him and it was when he caught it on the edge of his tunnel pretty hard coming down from a landing. And, uh, you know, that's to be expected, but he actually fixed it, so that's pretty good. Um, these ones are, are the newest generation. They work great. They allow you to really cinch down tight on these boots, which is cool. Now, as you can see, the, the cut of this boot is a little bit different than the older version. Um, you've got fewer seams in most areas on the inside and on the outside. Um, this material here is super durable. Uh, it's designed, especially on the inside, where it contacts the sled to be as durable as possible so it doesn't wear. These are the high wear areas on a boot. 
uh, here, obviously your toe and then the sole, where you're hooking your toe in the stirrup or where you're rubbing on the side of the tunnel or where you're you know, driving, riding with your foot on the side of the tunnel, especially in the mountains and you're using that tunnel traction on your foot uh, to keep you on the sled, this is a durable area and uh, I've had no problems with it. The heel of this boot's a little different than the older version in that it doesn't have as many seams back here either as, or as many different materials. It's basically just one large panel with a small flex section in the middle and that's about it and that's great. Uh, I find fewer seams, maybe they're not as fancy, um, they're trying to make up for it with the design, but maybe fewer pieces of material aren't quite as fancy, but definitely durability is the number one thing when you're spending your good money on a pair of boots that you want to last. Um, final comment on these is they do include FXR's uh, pant attachment system that, to be perfectly honest, uh, I didn't even know existed until AJ showed me last season while we were riding snow bikes. You have this loop here and this loop here, and FXR pants have a little button hook thing here and a button hook thing on the back of them and when you put your pants over your boots and do these up your pants can't slide up now i only use that when i'm riding snow bikes or when i'm riding in the mountains when i'm just trail riding that's not a big issue so i don't worry too much about it but when i am riding uh sort of more aggressively or in deeper snow that has been a lifesaver for me these boots as the older versions they don't have a removable liner they have a fixed liner it's very it's fleece it's really soft uh, it's comfortable these are a lighter version of, you know, FXR's Focus style boots. They have a Pro Boa Focus that has a removable liner uh, and it's much thicker. It's a much bigger boot. Um, I've never found these to be cold. I've always found them to be quite warm. Uh, I've never had cold feet, so I don't have a problem with that. I think that they're a great boot from that respect, even though they don't have the removable liner. However, when they get cold or sorry, when they get wet, uh, you do need to have some way to get air down in them to uh, dry them out. So I've got one of those boot dryer things. You get it, you know, Home Depot or wherever you get them. And that seems to work pretty good. They do dry pretty quick, so that's a good thing. O overnight with a boot dryer in there and every morning they're, they're good to go again. Um, so that's FXR's new boot. White and black color scheme goes with everything. Um, goes with my suit this year and I think it looks pretty trick. They do have another color scheme, I think, for this. It might be high-vis. I can't really remember, but um, also nice looking. These are great boots. I, I gotta say, when FXR first started making boots, I was not overly impressed with them. Uh, and, and I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that, but um, I just didn't think, they didn't fit me that well. They were really big, they were bulky, and uh, they didn't seem to last that long. In recent years, FXR has stepped up their boot game in a big way, and these new ver versions of these boots are durable, as this one can attest to. After all of the, probably close to 10,000 miles this thing has on it, in the mountains, on trails, on snow bikes, everywhere uh this boot has been through it and it barely even looks worn you know I and mean, it's a little bit dirty but in general it barely even looks like it's been worn and that's a good sign even on the inside you know high wear areas of this boot not a little bit of wear not even a tiny bit so these are really good quality boots they're worth every penny in my opinion and this new version that's taller i think if you're a really aggressive rider this might be a good choice for you especially if you wear a knee brace this probably is a great choice for you um, this boot would work fine for pretty much everybody um, this boot might just be a little bit better for you. Um, I, I can't say for certain because I haven't ridden this, this boot yet. Um, I, I did test it with my knee brace and that's why I'm making comments about how it holds my knee brace in, but I haven't ridden with it to know how it performs. I have great confidence that it's going to be an excellent boot and it's going to be a great, uh, a great option for me this winter. Though I will probably continue to wear these too because you know they're still great. They're a great boot and they're in great shape. So anyway, I, I hope that explains FXR's new boot why it's different, um, how it's different, why it's different being good, and uh, you know how it might be able to benefit you. So uh, try to do more of these videos in the future and, and just show you guys some of the gear that we use and what we think about it and why it works or why it doesn't work for us. And uh, I hope you guys appreciate these and enjoy them.